Hello everyone. I don't have long, but I think I have long enough to do this one. So uh, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple attack animations for our character, our enemy character. So I'm going to, all I've done is I've went and downloaded a couple more attack animations from Mixamo. So I got this one, this one, and this one, and I've just imported those. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and create anim montages of them. So this will be attack two. I'm going to right click create a montage of that one called attack 3 and then of this final one create an a montage attack 4 so I'm going to save real quick and then inside the base enemy class where we're choosing or where our character is attacking oh there it is instead of hooking this attack montage directly in I'm going to disconnect that move this up and I want to call in a select it'll be this one with this gold thingy so I'm going to do attack montage in option one let's add two more pins and then I'm going to duplicate my attack montage so duplicate attack two montage duplicate attack three montage one more oh wait we can just duplicate one more time attack four montage now I'm gonna plug all those in to our select now you can do this for as many uh, animations as your character might have or your enemies might have. I'm going to plug the return value into the montage. Now for the index we want a random integer. So for this max value I'm going to drag off and promote that to a variable called uh, enemy attack amount. Basically this will be a reference to how many attack animations that one has so that it always picks the right amount. Now you will want to go through each of your attack montages and make sure they have all the trace or the event triggers so that they call these right, the switch on notifies. But for now we're just going to set this up this side of it. So for the night enemy, let's see, attack montage 2 is attack 2, attack montage 3 is attack 3, attack montage 4 is 4. Now to begin with I'm only going to set it to 2 just to show you that he'll alternate back and forth between those two. But let's let's see so he does that one and he tries to hit me that way and that way so yeah see now they're doing multiple attacks now let's bump that up and see if we can increase the enemy attack amount so that maybe he'll do a little bit different come at me bro yeah, he's kicking me, slashing me. So yeah, they got random attacks now. So that they won't always do the same thing. And you can set up different things for each different animation type. So let's say this attack three. Like let's say I want him to actually knock my character back or add a stun effect once he does that. You can just add that in as a montage notify. Name it like stun or whatever you want. And then in the base enemy class, you can just add that to the switch on name. And then if the enemy has a stun effect, it'll do that, etc., etc. Or you can have high attack, low attack. You can do whatever you want with all your montages. Montages are great. I love them. I just found out about them. They're great. They're fantastic. But yeah, I just wanted to do one more quick one just to show you all how we can have a variation of attacks. And for each enemy that you have, you can have... Uh, the way I would set it up is probably go based on my enemy that has the most attack animations. I'd add as many for that and then just backtrack. Like if I have another enemy that only has two, like I'd set their attack amount just to two and it'd be just just that. Or, or I guess one. Because arrays start at zero. But yeah, 
Uh, so yeah, that's how you do that. So I will see y'all in the next one to start setting up all the the kill checks to give our character experience and uh, money and all that that fun stuff. So I'll see y'all then. Bye.